Now the latest on the aftermath of Rhode Island's historic floods. The road to recovery continues tonight. It's been a month and now there is a light at the end of the tunnel for some of the places hardest hit. It's hard to forget this scene as flood waters rose several feet up the side of the building, leaving the inside of the Warwick Mall a mess. And now we're learning more about when the mall may reopen for business. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler joins us now with the latest from the mobile newsroom. The mall's managing partner tells us he hopes to have some stores back up and running by August. And when customers return, he says it will look like a brand new Warwick Mall. Signs of progress inside the Warwick Mall, where construction crews continue to work around the clock. One month after historic floods rushed through the shopping center, the building has been cleaned and stripped of all water damage. If there were any carpets on the floor, they've been taken out. Uh, the walls will be redone. So they'll be walking into a new mall with new inventory and new places to look at. Mall co-managing partner Aram Garabedian says shoppers can expect a new design through the main concourse with expanded walking space and new sitting areas. Reopening dates will be left up to individual shops with anchor stores like J.C. Penney and Macy's taking part in major renovations. It's kind of hard when there's over 80 different companies and they've all been hit different proportionally. Everything has uh, been done in front so people can start working inside their stores. Some will probably end up with some new storefronts. Hundreds of mall employees remain out of work on temporary unemployment as the cleanup continues. For them and shoppers missing their favorite stores, Garabedian promises the wait will be worth it. Our business, which is part of our life, was totally flooded out and we're coming back strong. And Garabedian says he hopes to have the entire mall back open by October, just in time for the mall's 40th anniversary. In Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.